I'm the fashionista around here. It's all this in my haul. <laughs> my channel if you're new here my name is Nadia and I'm starting this vlog late I should have started this vlog one day when I was getting my hair done but I did not as you can see my hair is freshly done like this is the top of it and what it looks like it's really bright out here um, I'm at Jack and Diane's in Gulfport I've been up here for about, for about two hours I think getting his tattoo on or whatever so yeah I just wanted to come on here and I just wanted to come on here and do my introduction for this vlog so I can go ahead and start it because I'm behind I'm actually not behind I've been working on videos since I've been here I brought my laptop my camera I brought everything I packed up like I was going out of town and brought my stuff up here so that I can actually work on my videos and stuff while I'm here um, and get ahead actually so I have a video already edited and um, scheduled for Friday. I posted one today. I have one scheduled. I mean, edited. The one I'm editing now is actually processed into YouTube for Monday, and then I have another one that I'm going to edit while I'm here and process that one for Wednesday. So, and then my Friday video will be. I mean, my Saturday video I'll record it Friday. So I'm actually like ahead or whatever. But like I said, I just wanted to come on here and do this little intro. I know these people probably pass by like, why does she have a camera? Uh, but. Um, <laughs> actually, maybe they think I'm doing work for Jack and Diane. I don't know. But let me go in here before this car tries to turn around and come say something to me while I'm standing here. Oh, no, they turned off. So, <laughs> I can actually see them over there. But yeah, so I'll just talk to you guys later on today when um, I, because I got to go pick my car up from the Audi dealer. I had to go get a oil change and I dropped it off. Um, actually, dropped it, they got it Monday. So, I'll just talk to you guys in a little bit. Here at Jack and Diane's, and this is all there. I don't know how people pick tattoos off of these things because I would not be able to pick. Hey guys, it's Thursday. Still at work right now. Um, I have a lash appointment. Y'all, I was, <laughs> I was so tired when I got up this morning. I missed the gym. I have not really been to the gym not really i haven't been to the gym all week because of everything i've had going on at home or whatever i was off and so i was like i was dealing with my boyfriend or whatever having like his tattoo monday i had a hair appointment so i missed it and then like tuesday i just been doing a whole i had a whole lot going on this week so my plans were to go to the gym today of course and then tomorrow possibly this weekend but I realized I was like, oh, I can't go this weekend, whatever. But I have a last appointment when I get off today and I have a trial haul I have to do, but I don't think I'm going to do that until I actually have two, but I'm only going to put one in this vlog. This vlog is going to be weird because this vlog is going to run probably. I don't know how, I'm, how it's going to run. We're just going to see, but I have a trial haul I have to do this weekend. And I'm going to put that in the vlog because I have like an order I ordered from Shein of like work clothes and gym clothes. And then I have an order that I ordered from Fashion Nova of work clothes. And I'm still waiting on two bottles of perfume. One is a full bottle and one is a travel size bottle. What time is it? I need to get ready to go back to work. But yeah, I was just on my lunch break and wanted to come on here and say hey to y'all. But I might not pick y'all back up tonight it just depends because i i was off for five days you guys and i was so busy in those five days you know you take off to do stuff and then you're like okay but sometime that last day i'm gonna rest before i go back to work no absolutely no rest i it dropped my car off in mobile monday to get an oil change and I, honestly I was thinking I was gonna be without my car for like a week because they weren't supposed to get to my car until Wednesday and I was like I'm just go ahead and take it over there and so they ended up getting to my car Tuesday and finishing before about yesterday it was done so I went back and got it yesterday so I had to drive from Gulfport at the tattoo shop all the way to Mobile and then back home after like and it was late it was like six o'clock when I made it home it's just late because I had been gone since that morning but anyways, I'll pick you guys up later because my battery about to die. <laughs> 
Hey guys, so I am um, like at this odd angle because I'm about to redo the top shelf of my bookshelf that's always in my background in my videos. Um, this top one, y'all know, I had these perfumes just kind of across the front of the uh, shelf and then two purses, or well, three purses back there in the back. Well, I'm about to redo that top shelf because I have another um, perfume organizer that I'm gonna add up here. So this will be my fourth one. And on this one, I'm not gonna really color coordinate or anything like that because I have, because these shelves, like the three that are right here, these are already color coordinated. And I don't want to, I think I'm gonna take one of them off of the shelf. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I am. I'm gonna take one of the pink ones off because it's five on this one shelf. So those perfumes are turned sideways and I don't want one shelf to be turned sideways and every other shelf to be straight ahead. So I'm gonna take one of those off. I think I'm gonna take that Prada bottle off. Yeah, I am. That Prada um, candy, well not the candy one, but yeah. So I'm gonna take that Prada bottle off and I'm gonna put that on the shelf in the back somewhere because this one is just gonna be <clears throat> like bottles that, like, like the overflow really, but it's the newer bottles that I have. And all of these are like weird colors or whatever so none of this none of these are I have one over there that's red that eventually is going to go over this shelf but I have to do a video on that perfume mm -hmm. so that one isn't going to get here yet so I'm going to turn this around and then just take the stuff off that is on here and show you guys where I put it I just want a rough neck nigga on the tongue You just want a semi-automatic with a drum Ask me if I'm finished now, nah, but that just begun nah, I ain't giving out no nutty to no nigga just for fun Are you dumb? Uh-uh Who's the man? I don't know no other man Like a hundred niggas just for a hundred bands I don't even got me a hundred pins yeah. I'm still gonna make me a hundred M's with a hundred plans <laughs> Give me peso, <laughs> extendo <laughs> I carry just like a prego <laughs> Hit around with nigga called Pedro <laughs> Suck it, nigga, shoulda knew it from the get-go uh, yeah. Don't play with it, don't play with it, don't play with it uh, Come on, baby, don't play with it uh, Just lay it uh, Spin or play it Hitters don't play with it, don't play with it, don't play with it They stay with it I'm okay with it It's really it come to me, they'll play with it See, I'm here, that's something that I stay with The brothers, they ain't really nothing to play with Steady chatting when I ran down, she ain't say My hitters gon' bang quick, fuck around and get dangerous Step like bimbo, stop a bitch in my timbo Toes, no one ain't playing games on no Xbox, Nintendo Real bitch, no force, I stand on it, that's ten toes Pulled up with the big body with the dog tits on the window He says she so sweet, they gon' wanna lick her rap up Let him taste the then I keep got my right after Got these niggas vexed, cause I curb them when I want Get his wig, push back, if the nigga try to fall Okay, so this is what it is looking like so far. Um, two of these, this one and this one. I'm gonna take these two off, like, right now, actually, because I still have to do videos on these two, but this is what it's gonna look like after I get finished and after I add them back to it, to the shelf for good, because these are the only ones, these are the only extra ones that I have at the moment. <laughs> Because y'all know when I bought these three and put these three down here, this was perfect for the amount of fragrances that I had then. So, and then I ended up with the one with this Poison Girl sitting right here in the front. But um, the rest of these, 
well, some of these have been added. Well, mm -hmm. these have been, all of these have been added, and then this one is new. But these five right here, these are old. I already had these three back here, Cloud and this Versace one. But this Kaoli and everything right here is um, new. So, of course, I ended up needing another shelf. And from the looks of it, well, I can squeeze because on the ones that are down here, I have like four or and some of them have five on each shelf down here and these three down here. So I can get more on these shelves, but very soon I'm going to have to get another one. And I think instead of just ordering one, when I get that one, I'm going to order the two, the, the duck because I think they have a double set. I'm going to just get that. That way I'll already have another one when I need it. Um, but yeah. So this is what it looks like right now. Like I said, I'm going to take these two off because I still have to do these the dedicated videos on these two. I cannot wait to do the dedicated video on this one right here that's in my hand because, oh my God. Okay, so now the ones that I have left are just this um, Gold Rush. I have that little corner down there left. And then this one that I keep saying that I'm going to get rid of, which... I think I can finish this off tonight. This is Bulgari Omnia Coral. This smells really, really good. I don't know if you guys have smelled any of these perfumes, but they smell really good. This was my second one of these when I got this one. And then I got these two all, um, perfumes, the Cherry Smash and the uh, Crystal. Um, I'm going to steal... I'm just going to stick these over here on this behind. On my, like, my little I have like a little tray right here with some of my samples on it. I'm just going to stick those two there. And then this Cityscape, I don't think this smells the same anymore because I've had it for a long time. It kind of still smells like it did before, but then I can tell that it's been sitting. I, don't know. I can use this as a gym scent just to get rid of these so that I don't so that I haven't thrown anything in the trash and wasted my money pretty much. So that's it. I'm adding now all of my fragrances except for these two that I have to do the dedicated videos on are now shelved. For the time being I just have to find somewhere else to put my coach purse that's right there and I have a shelf down there. I think I can move my shoes over and just add it to that shelf. But yeah this is it for right now guys. Yeah, that perfume still kind of has a scent to it, but yeah. So, I'm going to just back up so you guys can see what it looks like fully. And then I'm going to drop it off. Okay. So, this is what my three shelves look like that have my sprays on it. So, we got body sprays down here. And then, like, my lotions and body creams and my body oils are on this shelf right here. Right this section right here, lotions, body oils, um, body creams, body shimmers are in this section right here. And then all of these are the perfumes. And then, oh, sorry. All of these are perfumes here. And then just the extra perfumes that I have there. But then over there on that shelf, I have um, body, like the body creams that go for my, to my Bath and Body work stuff right there. And then back there are my body butters that are all in that corner right there. Okay. So yeah, I think I'm going to put my coach bag on this shelf right here next to that duty purse or whatever. So yeah, I think that's how everything, oops, oops. <laughs> I think that's how everything is going to go for the time being. And it's so obvious that I've added more. <laughs> Like I said, today is Sunday, and I just want to go, to go ahead and get that out of the way because I have so much stuff everywhere, and I like I I can't function in like disarray like this. I need my stuff to be organized so that I can see it and get to it and not feel like I'm all over the place. There's a perfume, my bubble bath perfume, and then I have another K. Ali perfume. Um, they're in my purse right now. Oh man, it still smells so good. I'm going to start wearing that to the gym because that, that city, that Avon, I think it is, Avon, no, Mary Kay, Mary Kay Cityscape, that perfume smells so freaking good, that's going to be my gym scent until, um, 
until it's gone because I want to get rid of it because like I said it is old when I say old I mean like years old um but yeah so I have like I said I have a bubble bath in my per in my purse and um good girl gone bad Killian in my purse also so those need to be put back on the shelf to add in with that stuff and yeah it's getting worse <laughs> but I keep saying that I want to like calm down for the moment but at the same time like this perfume content is so good for my channel or whatever so I know like I enjoyed and then you guys I've been watching my my numbers and stuff like you guys really really enjoy um enjoy the content also so it makes me even more want to do it but this niche is not cheap okay <laughs> at all so ooh, it's like a catch 2020 i want to do it and i want to keep doing it because i know it's good content and then i love it i always have so it's like a natural thing for me but god it gets expensive doing it at this rate or whatever but yeah so i'm gonna just get off of here for right now i've already done my because because i didn't really vlog anything today this is going to be a stretched out long vlog. I've already meal prepped um, my meal prep for today. And I just cooked his stuff. Keelan cooked her food Friday night for the rest of the week. So we don't have to deal with Keelan stuff or whatever. So yeah, this is it. Once I shower and what does I have to do? Shower, make my shake and actually pack my lunch and stuff. I don't have anything else to do. It's six o'clock. Um, but yeah, that's it. So I'll just talk to you guys probably tomorrow or see y'all in the morning at the gym. <laughs> okay, guys. So as a part of this vlog, I was going to make this video a separate video, but I think I'm just going to go ahead and add it into this vlog. But I am going to um, do a haul for you guys. I ordered some gym clothes and I ordered some I ordered some gym clothes and I ordered some work clothes and like I told I've been telling you guys for a while that I was gonna start revamping my wardrobe or whatever so this is still in the process of me revamping my wardrobe so I ordered a bunch of business clothes I ordered like one weekend outfit and then I ordered um, some gym clothes most of my clothes came from Shein um, then I have like some stuff from Fashion Nova but Shein, like a while back I did a haul from Shein and they were all sports bras. Well, when I bought those sports bras, they kind of fit, but they were like the straps were too long for my shoulders and some of the straps were too long for my back, but the front part on them fit perfectly and they were all larger. So I said the next time that I order workout clothes, like anything that has a top that I was going to order it in a medium. Well, I ordered all these cute outfits. I want to say uh, like three of them I may be able to fit, something like that, but like maybe a little more I forget how many I ordered but at least four of the outfits I can't fit absolutely cannot fit one of the outfits I honestly should send back because the top is fine I don't mind it being tight because I like to be pulled in and the pant the bottom the shorts I can get into but the, they have a band around the bottom of the leg and that part is tight so I actually think I'm gonna send it back and when I send them back I'm gonna just I'm gonna get them a re, get a refund but then I'm gonna reorder them because the outfits are really cute one of the outfits I was I was gonna give them to Keelan and when she looked at one of them, she was like, I don't like that. But she wanted to see it on me. So I was going to do that to avoid sending them back. But when she said she didn't like that one, I was like, well, I have to send the rest of these back. I have to send this one back, even if she liked the other one. So I was like, okay, well, Keelan, I'm just going to send all of them back. So with that being said, yeah, so some of those I'm not going to put in this haul. I'm just going to reorder them and do it in a later haul. And so we're just going to jump right into it. Like the outfit that I have on today, this one is, I got the... It's a bodysuit. I'm going to put a picture of myself in this outfit because I wore this today to work. But this is a bodysuit that I got from Walmart. And I'm going to go back. Y'all probably won't see my head in this video, but that's fine. So the bodysuit is um, it's made like this. I absolutely love this bodysuit. I wish they had it in more colors, but they only had it in black. So the bodysuit looks like that. And then... This blazer is super duper cute. The only thing about Shein blazers that I have noticed, I don't know if it's every blazer or the ones that I have, I have a blazer separate and then I have a um, suit 
from them that I've worn. I have a couple suits from them, but I've only worn the navy blue one. The back of their jackets, as soon as I wash them, they wash them, they get those like little beads and cloth like the like the um, material has been pulled. And I know it's probably because their stuff is cheap, but I'm like, okay, if, if, if this does that, and then my green suit over there does that, I won't be ordering anything, like any more jackets or suits or anything like that from Shein because nobody, I'm not gonna be spending my money. I don't care if it's $5. I'm not gonna be spending my money on their clothes, if, or the jackets, because that's the only problem that I've noticed on the blazers. If they're gonna all, and they all do it on the back, and then my blue one did it right here on one of the sides. Not both sides, just this one side. So yeah, but this is the outfit that I have on today. Uh, Bodysuit came from Walmart. Jacket came from Shein. Pants, these pants came from Fashion Nova. Um, I have these pants now in almost every color. I love these pants. I love these pants. These are the Victoria high-waisted pants I have blue burgundy um this color i have royal blue I, I have a bunch of colors because i ordered some more today i mean in this order so yeah this is the first outfit and then the little shoes that i'm gonna have on with these outfits to show you guys are my inclines that i got from come over here that i got from um, marshall's y'all i am obsessed with these shoes i i'm gonna go back to see if they have them in my size again and if they do i'm gonna double i'm gonna buy another pair because i wear these shoes i have these and then i have the tan ones i wear them i showed you y'all in a previous vlog but i wear them every single day they are so comfortable okay you guys so this is the second piece these tights i just have on some black tights because i didn't want to have to put on any pants or whatever Let me see what I got. Okay, we're gonna put that down there. Okay, so this is just this shirt. This is a part of the haul. Okay, now when I picked this shirt out, this shirt looked so much better on Shein's website. But now that it's here, it kind of looks very cheap, dollar store-ish. But I'm still gonna wear it because I bought it. It's not like ugly, but it looked better on their website. I'm gonna put it with some high-waisted pants anyway, so it'll kind of, I'm sure it'll be cute when I wear it, but yeah, I'm not too excited about it. Um, by looking at it right now, but we're gonna make it work. So this is the uh, one of the shirts. Okay, so this is the second shirt. It has, I still have my black undershirt under here. So this shirt is like made like this on the front. It, don't have any, it doesn't have any buttons or anything. And the neck looks like that or whatever. This is really cute. I like this one and I would either wear this one Whatever these shirts are gonna go with is gonna be high-waisted pants, high-waisted slacks, because all of my slacks are high-waisted. <laughs> yeah, all of my slacks are high-waisted, so that's pretty much what this uh, will be put with. I wish I could find a pair of pants that's this color right here. I'm gonna look for that, because I really would prefer to pull that color out of the shirt instead of, of course, black, because that's the easiest color to match it with. But I would prefer this tan color but I know it's gonna be very, very hard for me to find um, pants that are that light. Because of all the khaki pants that I have, none of them are that light, but um, yeah, so that's how this one is. This one is pullover. It don't have buttons anywhere, okay? Okay, y'all, <clears throat> so this is the next um, shirt. It's kinda, I didn't realize when I ordered it, but it's made just like the shirt that I just took off. Just a different color. It, it would be me to order something that has the same design. Um, is one that I already like, but I ordered this one because of the color. I love emerald green. So they had this one, of course, in other colors, um, just like they do all of their shirts. But I picked this one because I don't have any shirt this color, and I think this is really cute. Same thing underneath the um, bodysuit and my tights. It's going to be the base up under everything. Except one shirt, I'm going to have to take it off because you'll be able to see how, like, you won't be able to see that shirt for looking. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, so the same thing, no buttons on it. The collar is made the same way. It's literally the same shirt, just a different color. Okay. Okay, you guys. So this is the next shirt. It looks like this. This is really cute. I could have done this one. I think I could have did it in a large, but my, I ordered all of these shirts in a medium 
because I didn't want, I was ordering all my stuff, like I said, in a large from Shein, and I didn't want my shirts to be like oversized. I want my stuff to be feminine, so I want it to still be like really sleek, form fitting, and like I always tell y'all, I'm small frame, so I have to be careful how I order my stuff because it'll wear me instead of me wearing it. It'll kind of drown me out or whatever. So of course, again, this would, this one I could wear, I could see wearing this one with a like a skirt instead of pants. I could do pants or a skirt with this one and it would be really cute. And then the bodysuit that I have on under it, I don't, actually don't think I would need it because it's kind of close. It's very close actually. I wouldn't need the bodysuit. But this is the neck and it's a stretchy elastic neck. Sleeveless look the same in the back all the way around. So you don't have to do that. I really, really like this one. This one is very girly because of the neck and because of being sleeveless. And the fact that I'm getting so hot already, I be sweating under my freaking boobs. I'm wearing body deodorant. I actually bought the Luma A, Lumi. I think it's Lumi. I'm gonna look it up. I keep saying that, but I bought that deodorant and I've been. I put it. Of course, I put a regular deodorant. Then I put that in this area because of how freaking hot it is outside. I'm sick of sweating. Okay, you guys. So this is the second blazer. Like I said, this blazer is the exact blazer that I got in black. I just got this in pink because I was like, why not? I literally don't own, I have a pair of hot pink um, slacks. They have like a little gold, like built in buckle or belt in the front for design. But other than that, I don't have anything. Oh, and I have some, um, what, what is the color? I can't even think of it, uh, mauve colored uh, slacks. But I don't have anything like pink. So this, like I said, this blazer is the same one and it has the buttons right there. And I actually really, now they, it has these pockets, but the pockets are like faux pockets. There's no actual pocket to put your hand in. It's just the flaps. But I'm hoping these blazers do better than the other ones do because the cut on these blazers is perfect. The only thing is I'm going to actually add a button like, or something like, you know how they have like the little snap buttons? Or take it to the cleaners or somewhere and get them to add. I think I can do that myself. Never mind. I actually can do. But I want to snap because it pulls open right here. And I don't want it to pull open. I want it to. I'm very weird when it comes to my clothes. I don't like having to constantly pull it down like that to keep this closed. So what I'm going to do is add like the little snap button right here. Where it will be right here. And then the other piece will be on the inside of this flap. So when I flap it over it will snap together. So you won't see that there's a button there. But it will always be in place and closed because of the snap button on that side. I, I think y'all know what I'm talking about. But like this blazer is really cute. Like the, the cut on them, it's like perfect. It's directly in the line of my shape or whatever. And normally you have to get blazers altered to fit like that. So I really, really like the cut of the blazer. It fits perfect. I just hate that it, this right here drives me insane. I can't stand that. So yeah, this is the pink one. It's really, really cute. I don't have anything like this Barbie pink or whatever you call this pale pastel pink. I don't have anything this color. Okay guys, so this is another one in the shirts. This is the shirt that I was saying I was gonna have to take my um, uh, one piece off. But I didn't, I left it on because it's just easier. But it's just this white shirt, it has this, this one actually have, you know, I like to have like the slit in the back with the button at the top, has that in the back. Then these are the sleeves. Of course, this is why I got the shirt in the first place is because of how the sleeves look. Super cute. Um, I really like it. I think the sleeves are really cute. I like funky stuff on shirts and it's kind of hard. That's why I like Shein's clothes because they always have like different type of stuff. If you can take the time to look uh, for it and they have blouses that are cheap and most stores don't sell blouses anymore that are actually cute and cheap. And so that's why Shein is making all this money because they still sell work clothes, they still sell blouses, they still sell suits. Like women are still in business and they still want to dress a certain way. Even not in business, if they just want to dress a certain way. All of those ways are on Shein. So only thing is I wish the sleeves were a little bit longer. Like that makes me wish I had a large, but the body of it is perfect. So I don't, but the sleeves are short. <laughs> hmm. I don't know. I'm still gonna wear it. Whatever. Okay guys, so these are these are from Fashion Nova. So the next few things that I'm gonna show you guys 
are from Fashion Nova. I'm not gonna try on the shade and work out clothes. I'm just gonna hold them up and show y'all. But these are another pair of the Victoria High Waisted Pants. I absolutely love these pants. I'm obsessed. Only thing is, this pair is not cut the same as the other one. They are, one re reason I really love these pants are they are so long. Look at these. When you don't have on, when I don't have on shoes, they literally sit on the floor. So when I put on heels, it pulls them up and the shoe is still covered. But these fit like a medium. These are a large. I'll get, I get them all in a large, but these, these are definitely cut smaller than the other ones because the larges normally fit me perfect. Um, but yeah, these are cut like a medium. So these fit smaller, tighter, but oh well, I'm keeping them. They, they, they stretch like crazy, so it's really not a big deal. But this color is taupe, yeah. So this is in taupe. I love these pants. They are my favorite. I order them in every color, every time I see new colors, because I really love the way they fit. But yeah, so like I said, these are from Fashion Nova. Okay guys, so here is another pair. These are actually mauve. So the other pants that I have are lighter than this, but not as light as that pink. I thought those were mauve, but this, this set, these are, these are mauve. I feel like that's mauve too, it's just a lighter mauve. But anyway, these are the same pants, Victoria, the Victoria High Waisted Pants. And like that, that, these fit how the large are supposed to fit. These are near, not nearly as tight as the other ones are. I know they probably look the same on camera, of course, but those were cut smaller. But I'm still keeping them because I'm sick to size them. But like I said, you see how long these are? Like they, if I fix them, they literally cover my feet. They are the perfect pants for like business women that need slacks. Oh, let me go ahead and show you guys this too. So I ordered another pair of these. These came from Fashion Nova also. I have one pair. No, these came from Shein. I have one pair of these and they're just some straight leg um, khaki colored pants and they're stretchy or whatever. So I just wanted to know. I was actually looking for a different kind, but they didn't really have any that I liked. So I was like, I always, you know, any time I wear those, I always be like, dang, I need another pair of khaki colored pants that aren't wide leg. So that's why I got these and I just bought a second pair and these are skinny. And then I got another one of the Chosen One pants set. I have had, I've showed you guys these before because I have this in tan and I have this in, I forgot what the other color is, but it's like the outfits that are like the wide leg pants and it's this stretch cottony material. I think it's kind of, I don't know. I got this one in a, I don't want it. Medium or large? My other ones are in a large. Ooh, I got this one. Oh, God, I got this one in a medium. I might need to try this. I might need to try this out. This one is in a medium. I honestly think it'll be okay. Let me see. Okay, so this is the Chosen One pants set. So I have these pants sets in a large. I have two or three in a large. And this one is a medium. And I got the medium because I wanted the pants to fit a little smaller than the largest, but to be honest, it don't fit no different. It still feels like a large. And this is a two-piece, y'all, but y'all know I have the bodysuit on um, and my tights still <laughs> under here, so you can't see. So, <clears throat> so that's why you can't see my stomach. But normally, you would be able to see like about that much of my stomach because like about that much of my stomach because it it has a gap right here. That's how all of them fit. But this one fits the same way. The largest fit. So, but I just I wanted in every color first of all because of how comfortable it is, and they just look really really cute on. Oh. Okay, these are also Victoria high waisted pants, but these are the Victoria high waisted cargo dress pants. They have cargo pockets on the side, and they actually are pockets. And this color of course is kind of green. Yeah, hundred green, size large. Um, I love, I used to not be a green fan, but I started to love hundred green. I've always liked emerald. I just never picked the clothes up, but then I'm like, every time I see something in those colors, it's like, it's gorgeous. So now you're, why are you not? Like they fit so freaking good on. And these also are long. I don't have any hundred green pants. So these are the first pair 
that I actually have in hunter green. So I'm excited. I have to find a shirt to go with these. Um, it shouldn't be that hard, but you just never know. Put this over here because these need to be off. But yeah, I really, really love these. These don't have a zipper in the back of them like the other ones do. All the other ones have a zipper in the back. These are pull-on. That's how you know these pants are like super duper stretchy because they pull on. Okay, so that's these. Okay, so this is another outfit, guys. I already These are the pants I had on a few minutes ago, but I forgot this shirt was like down at the bottom of the pile. I actually bought this shirt to go with these pants. I didn't think that they were gonna be like this off in color. It looks worse in that close. I didn't think that they were gonna be this off in color, but I'm still going to wear them together. I actually, I bought them to go together because I thought it was a little closer in color, but looking at it, other than having this black, <laughs> under this black pack on, looking at it though, it's still cute together. Like I can still put on like my little heels and pull this off. Color blocking. So it's still cute together. I actually really like the outfit together. I can pull it off. I'm the fashionista around here. <laughs> okay but yeah so it's really cute super girly i'm gonna put on some tan heels with it though maybe i'll go to dealers this weekend and go look at their heels because i feel like i want some cute mules to kind of add to the ones that i have i don't know girl we're gonna see but yeah this is one of the same this is one of the these are the pants and this is just the added outfit uh, added shirt all right you guys so um that is all that's all that's in my haul that's all that's in my haul. <laughs> okay, you guys, so that's all that's in the haul. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the gym sets that I got because they, and they're in a medium. Should have been in a large. But some of the ones that I'm gonna show you guys are the ones that I can fit, that I can actually get in and they're still comfortable. But yeah, so I'm trying to start wearing shorts to the gym. Y'all, let me tell you something. I be burning flat up when I'm working out when i say burning up i don't i think it's age i've never overheated the way that i do now um the way i overheat now when i work out is absolutely insane and i be in there in long tights scrunchy socks sports bra shirt and a lot of times i have like i'll go in there most of the time with the jacket on because it's a little bit cold in there when i get there but then I end up taking my hoodie, my like my little zip up jacket off. Oh, Y'all let me burn it up. So I'm like, okay, let me try. I told Keelan I was gonna try some shorts because Keelan wears shorts all the time to the gym. I was like, I'm gonna try some shorts and see how I feel. But I feel very uncomfortable in shorts most of the time. And it's because I feel like my legs are long. If they were wider, I think I would feel better. And if I didn't have hip dips, I would definitely feel better. I think it's the hip dips. It's not the fact that my legs aren't as thick as I want them to be. Like, cause they're not like sticks right now, my calves are. But my thighs aren't as bad as they used to be, but they're also not as big as I had gotten them. But anyway, shorts make me feel weird because they be so short and they be funky. I just, I don't know, I just feel like it draws a lot of attention and I don't be wanting no attention. Anyways, so this, I got this little outfit. These are the shorts. Y'all might not like them, but. I like being bright and colorful and cute at the gym. I don't care if it's a solid color or prints or whatever, because I would never wear an outfit like this. But as far as gym clothes, I, I literally bit these shorts. <laughs> but as far as gym clothes, I'm with it. So this is the sports bra. First of all, y'all know I need it. Now I say y'all know I need these sports bras in the large, but when I ordered all those sports bras in the large, they came in and they were too big, but they were not made out of this kind of material. So. I could do a large in this kind of material, but not in the material. All the ones I picked out were in that same material that has, I don't know, it just was fit. They would cut be. Okay, so anyways, like this is the sports bra, and this is what it looks like on the back. Okay, so that's the first short set. And, and then I got this jumpsuit. That I am bold for getting because I don't know if I'm wear stuff like this. We're gonna pray about it, y'all. We're gonna keep going. But it's like a one piece 
jumpsuit. It looks like that at the top. It's shorts. And the back is like that with that big hole right there. <laughs> yeah. We're scared of this one. <laughs> That's what I bought it. And I'm going to try to wear it. I'm going to see. It. But if I feel too funky in it, then it's going to be chilling right here at the house. This is the outfit that I said I can fit the top, but the pants have the band around it. Um, this is the top. And it's, it has this keyhole right here. It's plain in the back no holes and then these are the shorts they're drawstring at the top but y'all see how they had this band at the bottom right here this band makes them tight on my leg so I actually need I'm gonna send this one back too I need this outfit in a large because this that band I'll be uncomfortable the whole time I'm wearing that because of that band or whatever so I'm gonna send this I'm gonna send this one back the other ones are in my car already I'm not even gonna haul them like I said I'm gonna just send those back and haul them when they when I replace them whatever it's gonna be I don't know how long she in returns taste I'm take. I never did a she in return. And then I bought this multi-pack of these shorts. Keelan wear. These are the shorts Keelan be wearing all the time. These are the medium. And they actually, these are okay, if I'm remembering right. Y'all, I don't know where they cut off at. All I saw was I held up these shorts and <laughs> said, I, I don't know. I, okay. It cut off so these are the three co the four colors in these shorts or whatever i'm gonna retry these on like i said before and see if i can fit these before i ship all this other stuff off i have four outfits in my car that have to go back it's gonna be like seven things and that's almost all of the workout clothes i'm sending back or whatever this little intergalactica or whatever you want to call this outfit I was just saying I can't get jiggy with it. I'm not a fan. And you see what kind of this slick material? I didn't think it was that material. So I don't like this. I do like the fact that the sports bra has a regular strap on one side and then three of these straps on the other side. That's cute. But by the time they're on and they pull together, it looks like one thick stretchy, like one black strap or whatever. So yeah, that's it. That's all in my haul. It is seven o'clock. I plan on being done with everything and sitting on the couch watching TV by now. But I'm just like, I need to go ahead and do this haul so I can shift this stuff back or whatever. So yeah, I'm going to try these shorts on really quick and and that'll be it, it um, on this haul. And so I'll just pick you guys back up. I'm going to end this vlog. This vlog is stretched out. Right? I'm going to end this vlog I guess this weekend. Saturday. So I can give it I was going to give it to y'all. I'll put it out um, Sunday. All right, you guys. So I will see you tomorrow. Hey, guys. So this is the longest freaking vlog ever. Because <laughs> this vlog has been stretched out over like two weeks. It's been so spotty because I really have been recording. I've been kind of all over the place. I mean, well, no, I take that back. I have been recording. I just hadn't been recording for this vlog. I have been recording other videos <laughs> and I literally have been skipping over this vlog because in the stuff that I could have put in the vlog, I didn't. There was so much that I could have recorded for it, but I just didn't because I was like taking a semi break, which I can't, like I said, I say, can't really say it was a break because I was still recording videos. I have not skipped on the videos on my channel, so. It's just on this vlog I've been skipping. <laughs> but yeah, so but we're back to this. Oh my god, that house is so beautiful. Or whatever, so we can you know finish this vlog out because I got some stuff in here to show y'all and I'm taking forever to even complete the vlog. But right now I'm on my lunch break. I just left the tag place. I'm going to pick up my tag. Oh, I'm gonna renew my tag, whatever. It's so crazy that I'm renewing my tag, y'all. I have had my car for a year this has been the fastest year of my life that man just <laughs> walking on the side and threw a dozen roses slammed a dozen roses in the middle of the street when i was passing by going that way and now i'm coming this way the roses are just people driving over them because they're sitting in the middle of the street but yeah like i said i've had my car a year and it i swear to god it does not seem like it has been that long since i've had my car but it has it's a whole year time flies that goes to show how fast time flies like when they sent me my renewal in the mail i was kind of shocked like 
it started me to renew my tag already. And then when I realized, I'm like, oh my God, yes, because I got my car in April. It was delivered last year in April. It's just crazy to even think that it has went by that fast. But here we are at renewal time. So, um, like I said, I'm on my lunch. I went and did that. I'm about to go get me something to eat. And I have like a couple more things that I need to do before my lunch is over with. I ordered a, I got some returns that I'm doing. I had, I ordered Oud Satin Mood. Um, it was the hair mist I ordered from Saks or no, Neiman Marcus. And when it came in, I didn't like it. So I had to ship that back. I need to, I, I should have see what I did mess up. I did not look at the date of when I sent that back so that I could be following up to when they're going to give me my money. Cause I don't even remember what, what I, I think I remember what, I'm trying to remember what card that was put on, but, but yeah, so I returned Oots and Mood. I ordered uh, another bond number nine. I ordered Bryant Park from Drama Shop and Bryant Park is one of the older ones, but somebody was like, told me, was like, Nadia, I think you should get Brian Park. Brian Park smell, would smell like this, this, this. And Brian Park smell, I could tell that it possibly does smell good, but Brian, the bottle that they sent me, I don't know if all of them smell like this or if it's the bottle that I have because it is an older fragrance. It smells, you know how bottles have been sitting for a long time, like a really, really, really long time, and they start to get that alcohol smell. That's how my perfumes ended up smelling when I had them stored in my bathroom. And then they were had been in there for a long time and I hadn't been wearing them or spraying them. It's like when you're not, when they're just sitting and they're not getting, like the scents aren't getting mixed, like you're not spraying them or anything like that, they get that alcohol smell. And that's how Bryant Park smells. Like I could tell that the perfume itself originally smelled good at some point, but the alcohol smell or whatever that settling smell is that they get, it's so strong that I can't get past the scent or whatever and I was like well maybe I can make myself wear and I'm like why am I gonna do that when I spent my money on this perfume if I just can't flat out if I don't flat out just want to wear it then I'm gonna send it back and I know I'm not gonna pick this up because it smells like perfume like um alcohol to me that was not your right away <laughs> now they're gonna go to make sure that I don't go but yeah so I gotta send that back and then I have a Shein order in my back seat that I need to hurry up and get packaged and send back before they deny my return pretty much. Um, can I go down that way? I don't know if I can, so I'm just gonna go. I know I can go down that way, but where will it lead me? <laughs> hmm. I don't know. I'm just gonna go through here and have to go by. But yeah, so... I gotta send that back so I got those two so I'm gonna be getting money back on these orders I really hoped that the Bryant Park would have worked but it didn't so it is what it is I'm gonna have to um, send it back and get my money back but now I got to figure out what perfume I want to replace it replace it with because the perfume videos on my channel are doing so well so and then on top of that I love perfume so it's kind of a win-win. I'm getting a new perfume, and then the perfume videos are doing really, really well on my channel or whatever. I just, I don't know. It sucks that Bryant Park didn't work, but it literally smells like straight up alcohol, and I'm like, I'm not in the business of wasting my money for the sake of, so yeah, I'm sending it back or whatever, but I'm on my way to this post office first. I'm gonna go to the post office first so that when I get my food, I can just eat it and don't have to be trying to still run errands dealing with my food so I will see you guys when today is Monday so I don't have a lash appointment today but whatever but I think I'm a, me and Keelan gonna have to fix fix our freaking closet like it's just up and collapsed and it's, it's been down for weeks at this point and we hadn't fixed it yet and I know she's sick of that closet being like that so we started on it yesterday and pulled all of her shoes out and set them like stacked them up on the shelf like in the hallway like right by her room and I was like you can just leave them right there because nobody goes over there on that side of the house 
it's unless us unless it's us and we're going to her room or whatever so yeah but let me get off of here so i can drive and go to this post office and take care of my business and i'll talk to y'all later <laughs> all right you guys hi it is tuesday and i just left from walmart on my lunch break as always I do that every single time I record. I don't know what it is as to why when I start talking on the camera, and I guess because I start talking so fast that I always end up having to burp. <laughs> but I just left Walmart and I just grabbed some stuff that I needed because I did not go grocery shopping this weekend. I didn't do anything this weekend. I texted Keelan because she was off Saturday and was like, well, what are we doing? And she didn't even respond to the text message. So I was like, maybe she don't want to do nothing. But I just went and got me some panty liners. I just got the Equate brand because these are the size that I like and they're unscented. And I got me a pack of Juicy Fruit. And then I bought some, I like the Snapple Apple and it was in the, in the, um, what you call that? It was in like the little coolers right there by the checkout. So I got that. I'm gonna take that into my job. And then my coworkers was asking me, cause y'all know I, all these freaking waters that I like, that I'm obsessed with, all of them are expensive. So my coworker was asking me that I not like the, like this brand of um, spark, like, I just realized this is sparkling water. She asked me that I not like this brand and I was like, I've never tasted those cause they're like 76 cent a piece. So I bought this and I'm gonna stick it in the refrigerator at work and try it and see if I like it. I got this flavor, the red, white, and blue pop, because I imagine that maybe this tastes like the popsicle, like the red, white, and blue popsicle. I don't know, but I'm gonna take it to work, take it inside so it'll get cold, and I'm gonna try it. And then I bought a pack of Impossible, the chicken patties. I love these chicken patties. I bought the other brand that's like real big. I forgot the name of it, but I don't like the way they taste. And then the fact that they have like a smell on them that I can smell when I'm eating them, so it causes me to not like the way they taste because of how they smell. It's kind of like the reason why I didn't eat salmon in the past. Because although the flavor of them might be good, all I can smell is fresh fish when I'm eating them. I don't like to be able to smell my food in that aspect. So I, the brand is very popular. I cannot think they're in a black package. Like all of their packages are black, but I can't really remember what they're called. But I don't like, I have a, I ate one of them out of it and I was like, okay, now I remember why I don't buy these because of that smell that's in them. I don't like them, so I'm gonna end up throwing them, throwing them away because I have purchased, this is the second pack I've purchased since I purchased that pack. And I keep purchasing these instead of eating those, I'm just gonna toss those. So these are the ones that I prefer. I actually like the way these taste. And then I bought this um, Boat House Farms Good Greens Oh, excuse me like a smoothie um it's fruits and vegetables and i'm gonna start drinking i used to make green drinks almost every single day and i noticed when i was making green drinks and drinking them every single day my good health was almost like per my it ain't gonna say almost it was perfection i could tell by the way my body was processing stuff that my good health was optimal like it was like even though I'm healthy right now and everything is how it's supposed to be I still notice a difference in my body when I was drinking green drinks every day and you know how you do stuff for so long then you start to notice it it does all good and all this stuff and then you stop instead of continuing because it worked or did good but yeah so I stopped so I was like I was gonna taste this one I don't even know how much that costs I just realized I paid for that and didn't even check $6.48 and for that freaking green drink. That is, what was $7, my patties? That green drink was $6.48. But if I buy my fruits and vegetables and juice it myself, then it's gonna be around the same price. So I guess it's not as bad. I don't know. And so I'll be eating chicken pat, chicky, chicken patties tonight, chicken patties tonight because I won't have time to meal prep because I have a lash appointment tonight. So I bought those and then I bought these Wonder, I didn't even check to see. Are these the ones that I normally get? Okay, these don't have berry in them. So this one, these Wonder Bread hamburger patties, and then I bought, I was, I'm not gonna cook no fries, so I just bought these um, barbecue Lay's potato chips to eat with them. I should not be eating these, but I'm gonna eat them with my chicken patties instead of like fries or something on the side, but these are vegan too, so I'm good. I just try to, I've been trying to stay away from like, even though if the chips are vegan or whatever, I've been trying to freaking stay away from eating stuff like that. 
because I feel like my body holds on to them like in the bottom of my stomach. Give me a look, give me that little pooch down there. I can tell when I eat stuff like that, it looks different than when it looks. Oh, it's time for me to go back, y'all. Okay, it's time for me to go back to work. I, um, I'll talk to you guys later. Alright y'all, so these pants are the green pants that have like that I showed y'all in the haul. Um, that are the cargo pockets on the side. I ended up pairing them with this shirt also that I got from Fashion Nova. I've had this shirt in my closet since last year sometime and I intended to wear it with jeans, but I um ended up pairing it with these pants and it's really cute. It's the same plain, you know, way all around or whatever and it it's not a, it's actually, it's actually a onesie. It snaps between the legs um, and it's like cut like a thong. So it was perfect for these pants. So yeah, that's what I ended up wearing. And then I put them with my now favorite shoes. Those, don't look at my toes, they jacked up. But yeah, so my slide in shoes, I just put it with those shoes and this is my outfit. I was trying to show y'all in the mirror, but everywhere that I have a mirror in this house, the lighting sucks. Okay, y'all, I am in Ulta and I found the Tree Hut birthday scrub. <laughs> Keila, how I flip my camera around if I'm vlogging? I have to stop it. All right, y'all, so I found the Tree Hut birthday scrub. I do not like that. Let's see what the with body butter tastes like. The body butter smells better than the scrub, but it still stinks. And people been going crazy over it. Like, this is just because they have this is right pink hibiscus. No, this one. Birthday cake. Oh, That's birthday yeah. cake. Okay, this one smells good. This is pink hibiscus. This one smells good. It is okay. This is your food. I always wonder why you're doing that. It's it's a better quality to me. Yep, and yours smell look this like a ten, tea. mine look like a five. I don't like it. It smells like a candle. Not a good one. It does. Mm -hmm. The body butter smells better than the actual. 